it's off again and still remains stronger than expectations, I think it's unlikely that the supply measure, even with that increased growth we've seen in supply, will keep pace. So if we have another year of stronger than expected net migration and employment growth, we're likely to have another year of very strong price gains. Henry, at the CREB Forecast Conference and Trade Show on January 15th, you presented your forecast for 2014 for the Calgary and area housing market. What are some of the highlights that you can share with us about your forecast? Many of the demand factors that were supporting the economic growth and the housing growth in 2013 will continue to fuel the market into 2014. So the, the gains in migration that we've seen and the employment growth, um, as well as the tight rental market, will continue to increase demand for housing moving into this year. Recently we're hearing a lot of reports about the national housing forecast for 2014 and, and uh, what we're hearing is that nationally experts are predicting that the housing market will soften. Your forecast for Calgary and area is uh, predicting the opposite of that. What can you tell us about where the differences are? Um, first of all, there's a lot of context to be placed into when you talk about the national housing market. Our national housing market is often driven by what's happening in uh, the larger markets like Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal. Um, you know, and many of those same reports that talk about a national correction do not necessarily refer to it in the same way when we're talking about Alberta and Calgary. Um, mostly because we've had such strong growth in population and migration, through net migration mostly, um, and that has supported the gains that we're expected to see. 2013, the biggest story in Calgary and area was likely the floods. What do you think the residual impact of the floods are going to be on resale, the resale market in 2014? Moving forward, the question becomes, well, what happens in those impacted communities? And really, it's not certain at this point uh, Long-term impacts will depend on many things, including the risk mitigation work that is done to help prevent future flooding, um, as well as any changes in policies that occur, um, you know, what can be expected as far as, you know, insurance premiums and how is the mortgage industry going to handle these types of properties. Um, many of those communities are located toward, close to the downtown core, um, which is an employment node, and it's not going anywhere, so that will help um, result in long-term growth as far as recovery of any impact from the floods. Emory, in Alberta, the energy sector is obviously a significant player and uh, has a lot of impact on, on the economy. You are suggesting that it will continue to play a big role in 2014. Uh, can you give us some more information about that? Well, the energy sector, it, it influences obviously what happens in housing just because it's such a large source of our employment and our growth. Now, when we're talking about housing, what this does is it influences the c confidence among consumers. So if they hear a lot of positives coming out of the energy sector, this helps boost their confidence and impacting their housing demand and their needs. Um, whereas if they're hearing a lot of negative um, stories coming out of the energy industry and they're concerned about potential layoffs and things like that that might be happening, this can actually reduce their confidence. So that can be a downside risk on, on the housing market. Are there any final thoughts that you'd like to share with us? Overall conditions are supporting you know, further demand and growth um, as far as housing sales activity and pricing. Um, overall, you know, fairly strong conditions moving forward this year. Um, but with that being said, it's not like what we saw in 2006 per se, but definitely a strong market. Thanks very much, Emery.